noted author and historian Stephen Ambrose said, it's not possible to praise a nurse too highly. Hello, I'm Dale Boren, publisher of the Casper Star Tribune. It is my honor to welcome you to Celebrate Nurses, the Heart of Healthcare, an annual event intended to publicly thank Wyoming nurses for the work that they do every day. This year, ours is a virtual event so we can maintain social distancing due to the coronavirus pandemic. Because of the pandemic, I would argue there has never been a better time to thank a nurse. Our aim is to celebrate the dedication and hard work of an exemplary class of people whose business it is to help others in need. There are some four million nurses in the United States. National Nurses Week is celebrated annually from May 6th, also known as National Nurses Day, through May 12th, the birthday of Florence Nightingale, the founder of Modern Nursing. Our motivation for this event is entirely selfish. We hope celebration will raise the public's awareness of the important role and contributions nurses make to their service and their patients in the families of Wyoming. The way we see it, dispensing compassion and a healing touch combined with competence are a major part of the foundation healthcare in Wyoming. And we are gathered today to show our appreciation and to recognize and celebrate excellence in the field of nursing. We're joined in this effort by the Wyoming Medical Center, our presenting sponsor, the Memorial Hospital of Converse County, our title sponsor, and the support of the Wyoming Behavioral Institute, Casper Surgical Center, Summit Medical Center, the University of Utah, City Brew, and Life Care of Casper. This event would not be possible without these sponsors. Nearly 40 nurses were nominated through an open and public process, a volunteer panel consisting of those who work in healthcare and healthcare education evaluated the nominations to select this year's top nominees. The nominee's name and place of work were removed throughout the selection process so that the process would remain unbiased. Our judges for the 2020 Celebrate Nurses recognition are Marge Christensen, a nurse and director of nursing at Casper College, Heather Jones, chief nursing officer at Summit Medical Center, and Kimberly Raska Miller, an associate lecturer and the pre-licensure program director at the Faye W. Whitney School of Nursing at the University of Wyoming. Thank you so much to these highly professional nurses and educators for their time and the effort they contributed to make this year's selections. Their participation to select nurses based on criteria they view most important makes today's recognition most meaningful. And now, to tell her own story and to introduce our keynote speaker is Connie Coleman, Chief Nursing Officer at the Wyoming Medical Center. Hello and happy Nurses Day to all nurses. Special congratulations to the nominees and recipients of this year's nursing awards. I'm proud to call many of you colleagues and some of you friends. It's been said that the year 2020 is the year of the nurse and what a year COVID-19 has made it. I want to thank and give special congratulations to all of the nurses out there working on the front lines taking care of those critically ill patients. Your hard work and selflessness has not gone unnoticed. I'm fortunate to say in my 20 year nursing career, it was a nurse who led me into nursing. I don't remember her name and I don't really remember what she looked like. She doesn't even know she had that kind of an impact on me. What I do remember is how she made me feel as a young mom of a critically ill toddler. Maya Angelou once said, people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. You see, nurses don't just care for patients. We care for family members of our patients, visitors, whomever comes in the room. What did this, this nurse do that made such an impact on my life? She said to me, go and get some rest and I will take care of your son just like you would. I trusted her and I went to a hotel and got some rest. When I returned the next morning, this nurse was rocking my son and singing to him just as I would have done if I would have been there. That was my aha moment. I decided that day that I was gonna go to nursing school so I could be that person for someone else someday. I'm proud to say that I've had several similar experiences over the years. I'm proud of my profession and I'm proud of my nurse colleagues. Now I'd like to introduce our keynote speaker, Sergeant Larry Baker, who's had a similar experience with a nurse who touched his heart in a way he never forgot. My name is Larry Baker. I was an Army combat infantry soldier in the Vietnam War in May. 1968, I was severely injured in a booby trap bomb blast. My eyes had been burned and were bandaged. While I was in the 91st evacuation hospital in Vietnam, a nurse was taking the bandages off and asked 
where I was from, I said, go to Wyoming. And she said, oh, really? I'm from Casper. I've been looking for that nurse for many years now, so I can simply say to her, thank you. Over a period of several months, I had been in five different military hospitals and four different military medical aircraft with nurses taking care of me and attending to my injuries. That is a lot of devoted nursing time to just one injured soldier. Thank you, Sergeant Baker. And now a message from the Chief Nursing Officer of the Memorial Hospital of Converse County, Christy Cobb. My name is Christy Dicklich Cobb and I have been a nurse for 25 years and I have the honor of serving as the chief nurse of Memorial Hospital of Converse County in Douglas. As we celebrate Nurses Week, I would like to thank you for your help and support of nurses during these challenging times. Your thoughts and prayers mean so much to us all, as well as the army of mask makers working hard to keep those at the front lines safe. Nursing is the most trusted profession, which is even more apparent as we adapt to care for patients in this COVID-19 crisis. There are many kinds of nurses in Wyoming, all carrying out different roles within healthcare. Nurses are the glue that hold the patient's healthcare journey together. As nurses, we advocate, support, and assure our patients are cared for. I'm proud to be a nurse. Here at Memorial Hospital of Converse County, we wish all Wyoming nurses a happy Nurses Week. Thank you for your service to our communities and our state. Thank you. Now in alphabetical order, let's meet the 10 nurses we will honor today. My name is Carolina Besames. I've been a nurse for 15 years. I've been working at Wyoming Medical Center for two years now. The reason why I became a nurse is I fell in love with it. I love taking care of people, give a smile to their faces, especially when they are sick. So there, and every time I have my patients um, recover, that is accomplishment for me. Hi, my name is Stacy Baker. I've been a nurse for 16 years. I work at Wyoming Medical Center on the labor and delivery floor. Uh, when I was having my first child, I, with my labor experience, that's what kind of prompted me to become a nurse. I, it was just so amazing and I wanted to be able to do that for other women having a baby. My name is Helen Bird and I have been a nurse for 45 years. I currently work at Wyoming Surgical Center uh, as a recovery room nurse. Uh, we also, I also work in the pain clinic assisting the doctors and nurses in there. I, I can't remember when I didn't want to be a nurse. From the time I was a little girl, I, my mother was a nurse and uh, I just always liked helping people, so I think that's why I became a nurse. I'm Cheyenne Esau Dick. Um, I've been practicing as a nurse now. Um, I started in 2014 as a CNA, um, and from then I worked at the hospital and went to nursing school um, and got my LPN in 2016 and then my RN in 2017. Um, in those time frames, I worked on the surgical unit at Wyoming Medical Center and I worked at Casper Orthopedic Associates. Um, surgical Center. Hello, my name is Katie Vuri. I have been a nurse for just about two years. I work in the neurology department at Wyoming Medical Center. I became a nurse um, because nothing else, uh, n no avenue that I pursued in life, whether that was agriculture or natural sciences or anything that I explored when I was younger, really made me feel the way that nursing makes me feel. I really think caring for people is what I'm meant to do and uh, nothing trips my trigger a little more than physically providing care for others in need. Hi, my name's uh, Nikki Jimenez. I work in uh, the ICU at Wyoming Medical Center. I've been a nurse for 17 years and in the ICU for 11. I became a nurse, I worked in a doctor's office probably in my early 20s and um, just enjoyed medical field and decided to become a nurse. So went to school in uh, Daytona, Florida, graduated there, worked in uh, Halifax Medical for my first six years in a neuro unit and then I've always wanted to be an ICU nurse. So um, when we moved back to Casper, I applied at um, 
Mom Medical Center in the ICU, and here I am. Um, my name is Amy Lance. Um, I work at Wyoming Medical Center on the pediatrics unit. Um, I've been a nurse for almost two years. It'll be two years in uh, May. And um, I became a nurse because I knew that I wanted to work with kids my whole life. And um, I, I just felt like nursing was a great way to do that and to um, kind of, I found an interest in healthcare when I was in high school and so that kind of put the two together. My name is Nicole and I am a nurse on the Neuro Unit at Wyoming Medical Center. Um, we specialize in strokes and we also specialize in brain and spinal surgeries. Um, I am truly blessed to be a nurse. I can't imagine doing anything else in my life. Like I, being a nurse is what I was born to be. Um, it's a true passion for sure. Wow. It is, it's everything for me. I love taking care of people. I love helping people. I love just everything about nursing. Hi, my name is Sally Reese and I have been a nurse for almost 40 years. It has been almost 37 here at Wyoming Medical Center. And the reason I became a nurse is because of my mom was an OB nurse and um, I, I work in OB as well. I am also a lactation counselor. So I work labor and delivery, mother baby unit, and we also do our own C-sections on labor and delivery. So we have our own OB OR. So um, that's a new change in the last few years. Um, my mom um, encouraged me to be go into nursing because I would always have a job in nursing and um, so she was very influential in me becoming an OB nurse. Um, my name is Ann Schultz. Um, I'm a registered nurse at Wyoming Medical Center. Uh, my sister-in-law actually had said you should try nursing school and I thought eh, I don't really think I want to do that. <laughs> So I went and talked to a woman at Casper College and she did a little test and she really encouraged me to do nursing and I kind of thought, well, maybe this is God's plan in my life and so I did and I've never regretted it. Um, I started work at Wyoming Medical Center in 1986. Um, I started as a nurse extern, which was like a glorified CNA um, and I did that for a year while I finished up nursing school. From all of us at the Casper Star Tribune and our enthusiastic sponsors, congratulations to each of you. And thank you to those of you who are watching. Thank you for joining this virtual event. It's possible that no one could sum up the point of today's affair better than our keynote speaker. Sergeant Baker? To all nurses, this soldier would just like to simply say thank you.